gasification is simply the process of burning smoke. Uh, that process can be elaborate or it can be simplified. We we'll use a simplified method. Uh, the elaborate method would be secondary air, uh, downdraft, refractory brick, uh, and that'll, that'll also give us gasification. But it's basically getting the smoke to a high enough temperature for the smoke to ignite. <music> The triangle fire consists of three equal parts of oxygen, spark, and fuel. If we can get those components evenly matched, we're gonna get the greatest amount of heat or BTUs. If I start changing that and I change its fuel level and I put too much fuel and not enough oxygen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a lot of smoke, I'm gonna get low temperatures, um, and I'm gonna get low BTUs. Same holds true if I change the oxygen level. If I put too much oxygen, I don't have enough fuel here, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in a lot of incoming air, I'm gonna cool my temperatures, I'm gonna possibly go out of gasification mode. Um, that, so that's really crucial to obtain the most amount of heat, the most amount of BTUs, the most amount of efficiency from that wood is to keep that triangle of fire as, as uh, as evenly legged as possible uh, to get the most out of that wood fuel that we're using. The circle of fuel really consists of an infinite level of burning. We're using our wood fuel in log form and we're finishing in fine ash. Well, there's, a, there's an infinite level of processes that are taking place, uh, an infinite level of temperature and an infinite level of requirements for oxygen. So. If I can take that fuel, um, you know, one hour into that burn process, I really need to match that up with the correct amount of oxygen. Um, and, and three hours into the burn process, I need to change that amount of oxygen. As that, as that wood gets closer to uh, charcoal, I, I need very little oxygen to support that high heat, that high temperature. I don't want to get rid of that temperature. I really want to keep that inside of my firebox. So we need to control that environment. When we control that environment, we measure our exhaust temperature. Uh, we match that exhaust temperature with our incoming air. We can hold that exhaust temperature where we want it, plus or minus five degrees. Set, set it at the right temperature, we get our internal temperatures where we need it, and the gasification takes place. So we don't go out of gasification, but we don't go higher than gasification either. So when we go too high, we get too much exhaust temperature. We're still gasifying in our main chamber, but we're losing our efficiency. We're pushing all of our heat right out of right out of our chimney that's the last thing we really want to do so we set our external temperature we hold that external temperature we hit the minimum gasification temperature that we want to hold and we keep it there the whole time the controls the, the computer and the blower does the rest and it holds that temperature where it needs to be that's how we can get the greatest amount of efficiency the longest burn times and the greatest heat output from each log that we put into the unit. There's a couple different ways to gasify. You know, we use a very simple method. There's other methods of gasification, which include downdraft, secondary air, refractory brick. Uh, we just hold a minimum internal temperature to, to do gasification. Let me explain what that is too. Gasification is, is simply the burning of smoke. If, if I can get this internal temperature high enough, the smoke will ignite. Between 700 and 900 degrees, that smoke will ignite. Um, now, wood and smoke uh, are, have the same amount of fuel almost. So if we can burn that smoke, we really increase our internal temperatures. But we have to get that internal te temperature high enough in order to burn that smoke. By doing that, uh, we've created that perfect triangle of fire throughout the whole process. We've utilize that entire wood fuel through its process of from log form to that fine ash and we've got the most amount out of that wood we've got the greatest amount of efficiency and of course that yield us the greatest amount of btus the best btus uh, in our clean burning environment